Hey everyone, how's it going today? I am Crypto Foxy, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about Kronos and uh, Crypto.com, and we're going to also look at some tokens that are in the ecosystem, and uh, we're going to give you an update on how things are looking for price action as well for Kronos. Um, smash the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency news and information. Uh, Crow is one that I love to cover. It is one of my bigger holdings. It's actually top Free and uh, uh, besides stablecoin, I guess. But uh, what's going on with crypto.com's Kronos price? We're going to get into that here. All right. So Crow has joined other cryptocurrencies in the current bull rally, which is nice to see. It was a bit lagging behind, but now we're getting caught up a little bit. It surged to a high of 15 uh, and a half cents, its highest point since August of 2022. So it's jumped more than 200% from its lowest point in 2023 as well. Crypto.com is one of the biggest players in the crypto industry, and it is one of the biggest spenders in marketing, sponsoring events like Formula One. DeFi Llama shows that the network has over uh, 15, or 15, uh, 516 million in total value locked, which has jumped over 50% in the past 30 days. Uh, VVS Finance, Tectonic, Faro, and v Vino Finance, uh, VV, uh, VVS Finance and Tectonic account for over 50% of the assets locked in the ecosystem. Um, so I hold uh, a number of those as well, uh, specifically VVS, uh, Tonic, and I don't own any uh, Faro or Vino, but not saying they're not good. It's just, I just have no, I just don't own them. Uh, the recent TVL gains is mostly because of the Crow price performance. So a closer look at the network, we're showing that VVS Finance, which is the biggest DEX in terms of total value locked, only handled 20 million tokens in the past 24 hours. So that's very significantly on the low end. Um, it is 32nd biggest DEX in the world in terms of volume. That's not very high in my opinion. Um, so Faro Pro Protocol handled 177 million um, worth of making it the eighth biggest DEX in the world. So that I'm actually going to have to take a look at that one, to be honest with you now. I don't even know what the price is on Faro, but I am certainly going to check it out. Seems like it is doing um, a lot better. So let's look at the Crow pro, uh, price forecast here. All right, so here is your chart. Um, we can see here that these are uh, the you know support and resistance and all that stuff. So last month's low of 7.2 cents to a high of 15.4 cents is what Crow had jumped up to. So the move above the important resistance point at 12.24 uh, remained above the 50-day and 100-day EMAs. The RSI and the percentage price oscillator have also pointed upwards, which is showing bullish momentum. The outlook for Kronos is bullish right now and the bull, as the bull run continues. So if this does continue, in the next point to watch will be 16, uh, sorry, 16 and a half cents. So that's what we got there. Let's go over and have a look at the crow price right now. So it did top out a little bit right here at 15, and we are showing a 2.5% um, decrease in market cap there. Um, down Volume is down almost 7% as well. So things are cooling off a little bit. Um, it could be gear gearing up for another run. Uh, the overall cryptocurrency market is flipping uh a little bit more green now. Uh, Bitcoin has been climbing a bit more today. However, still, you know, still looks like it might be consolidating. Um, I'm going to see if coin market cap's been really slow for me uh, the last couple of days. Um, so 62,680 is where Bitcoin is sitting, and it's taking forever to load. It is just absolutely killing my computer at times. Um, I'm also on the other side of the house too, where the internet is. So. I'm getting my internet upgrade this week. So 62.6K for Bitcoin and uh, let's zoom out here. So we are in this bit of a consolidation phase right now. So that's what something we're going to watch as well. So if that continues to move up, we could see Crow and uh, other altcoins continue their run as well. That's what I got for you guys in this video. I think I'm lagging a little bit. Sorry about that. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.